Welcome aboard. It's time to get started. Wonderful to be with you again. And this session is going to be talking about the, the creativity supercharger. Now, with all of the paraliminals, there's a rich background that belies the simplicity of what you get to plug and play on a, you know, a, a simple 20-minute session. The depth of this one is important, not only from the standpoint of your thinking, but also from the standpoint of your brain, your neurology. So this one works with your brain and your mind to solve important problems that you're facing. The underlying research of this started with a man named Dr. D. N. Perkins, who is a, an educator with Harvard. And one of the things that he wrote about is a, in a book called The Mind's Best Work. Most of the time when people think of highly creative people, they think of people who live in the right brain and go into the imaginal realm and bring back great ideas. Well, it turns out the research indicated that highly creative people, people that we would agree are some of the most creative people in history, also had a very well-developed, rational, logical, sequential part of their brain. And the mind's best work is when the creative right hemisphere and the logical rational left hemisphere work in concert with one another. There are times when we need to have a very rational approach and there are times where we need to, okay, now's when we have to let go and let the imagination fly. Bring back possibilities to handle what we reasonably see as the next step in this process. So when we think about a problem state, essentially a problem state is a difference between where we are now and where we want to be. That's it. That's a definition of a problem. There's a gap. Now, we can't always go from here to there because what we'll end up doing is applying the same level of thinking that put our problems there to begin with. See, most of our problems are the unintended consequence of how we're going about solving our problems. So what we have to do is we have to let go and let come. We have to drop into a place where our creative mind has the opportunity to link with our rational mind. This is a place inside of the brain where a lot of important neurological research is going on right now. It's called the prefrontal cortex. It's the most evolutionarily advanced part of the brain. So we've got the reptilian brain and the mammalian limbic system, that's kind of the emotional part. Then we've got the neocortex and that's the left and right hemispheres of the brain. Then we have this part that sees the big picture that actually has the ability to live in the past, present, and future. It has the ability to contact the future and bring back insights, mind sights from that future that's trying to evolve, trying to emerge and be expressed through you. Heavy idea, I understand, but this idea is a very important one, is we bring our problem forward with our rational mind and our creative mind gets to interplay with it, give it to the higher source of our, of our intelligence, our higher intelligence, and from there begin generating creative solutions. Now, a general rule of concept of creativity is that the first one, two, or three solutions we generate tend to come from the mindset that put our problem there. In other words, we would have thought of that one. And if we didn't do that first one, we would have thought of the second one. And 
if one and two don't work, then you should probably implement solution three. Well, the Creative Problem Solving Institute says, go to question seven or answer seven, solution nine, 11, you know, keep it going, keep generating. And that's what your inner mind has the ability to do. In fact, can do for you even while you're asleep. Deliver a problem to your inner mind as you're falling asleep. And in the morning, what will come is an idea that can guide you forward to where you want to go on this important goal that you've established for yourself. Now, I have written about this a bit in my book, Natural Brilliance. If you have it, in this particular edition, it's on page 127. But there's a model here for creativity and problem solving that I taught for many years at a high-tech company in Minneapolis as part of their corporate HR catalog, a problem uh, creativity and problem solving program. And again, relying on everything that I've just talked about, this idea that sometimes it's rational, sometimes it's creative, but always we want to let the higher mind then sort through all of the possibilities. Now, there's an, an interesting idea that's also presented in this paraliminal. It's, an, it's embedded in the script that I'm offering to your non-conscious mind. And that's the idea that when we land on an ideal solution to the problem that we're facing, we're going to know it by what's called a felt shift. This is a researched, this is a very well-researched concept. One of the ways in which we can play with that is when we have riddles. Now, there is a train coming from the east that heads into a tunnel that has only one track. There's another train coming from the west that goes into the same tunnel. Both come out the other side. What happened? How is this possible? And you know how riddles go, right? You try all the different ideas that you could think of. And when you land on the one that's it, every part of you knows it. There's something we call, it all fits together and clicks. Now, just as an additional historical side note, when talking with people about that felt shift in the context of a transformation that occurred in their life, they describe that idea that everything fit together and clicked. I researched that as part of my dissertation research and wrote about it in the dissertation. This felt shift, it's, it's like all the work, all the thinking, everything I'd been doing up until now finally came together, it all fit together and clicked. And it was that felt shift that let the person know the transformation has occurred or that the riddle was solved. Did you come up with the answer to the riddle? Well, the eastbound train was, at, was traveling on the track at a different time than the westbound train. <laughs> Fairly simple. But there are a lot of other really good riddles you can play with to get that sense of the felt shift. Well, it's a pleasure working with you. When you listen to this particular paraliminal, it's good if you have a clear idea of an important goal that you would like to have a breakthrough on. This way you can deliver it to your non-conscious mind and it can work on it for you. Enjoy the paraliminal. Great to be with you. Got a couple of more days this month to be with you. Looking forward to it. All the best.